All right, so we are in week two, and hopefully you applied last week's lessons, okay? Or else I'm closing the channel, I swear to you. So look, once you, this is more of an, an, an introduction, right? Because what I just told you earlier, it will transform you from within over time. It, it, it'll, 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 it'll show you how to, how to develop that sharp aggression that so many women disidentify um, with because they over identify with their masculine. So we're going to be talking about how to integrate the feminine and the masculine. Even if you're too, too feminine, um, editor, remove that part. Even if you're too over identified with the feminine, this is the right video for you also simply because there are some things that you maybe didn't think about, right? Because Sometimes we, we may have a sharp sword. It may be sharp, but it could get sharper, all right? So let's talk about this. First of all, if somebody is very masculine and they don't have a trait of femininity, it comes across as too aggressive. It comes across as too intimidating. And in women, it just comes across as bitter, right? Like a, like a bitter woman who's been hurt, right? And a perfect example of this is Precious. Let me show you right here. This is a woman who has lost touch with herself, who has allowed the bitterness of life to consume her. Let's listen to this. Let me show you the bitter. I mean, honestly, this is the one character that I think exemplifies this to the to the fullest. I had the baby. Obviously, no soothing mechanism. A lot, a lot of small. I'm not even gonna go there to be honest with you. Boy, she she just had a baby. Where you been all this time? Let me see. And notice how it's funny, huh? She's doing the masculine shit. <laughs> the whole silence, the whole quietness, you know. This just the power game. Let me see. But it's too masculine with no femininity, and that's why it's bitter. Can I hold him? But this is the lack of femininity. You look like his daddy. No, no, no compassion. Name Abdul. Watch. Put all this shit down. Go get me something to drink. It's the lack of compassion that that gives her a bitter. The lack of femininity, pretty much, that gives her a bitter energy. Watch, watch. You bitch! You fucking bitch! You crazy, mama? Am I crazy, bitch? Am I out just a Too much aggression. Right. Took my man. This is a woman who has allowed, who has suppressed her femininity and has no sense of love or compassion for other people because that's what I think the feminine entails. And in my opinion, she has a beautiful amount of masculine energy. Um, it's just there's too much, too much bitterness inside, too much anger. And that and that corrupts all of the energy, and just she 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 gives off a a, a oppressive energy, right? Uh, let me give you another example of of one, but with the perfect balance of masculine and feminine. Godfather, um, Tom, you're out, right? Um, this one is a perfect example of one showing masculine. Tom Higgins no longer and even, even even though even though this is oh, this, even though this is two men talking, right? This is, this, is, this is the example of how the feminine is the nurturing side. And this is what we're going to talk about today. The feminine allows the masculine to completely hover in, in, in the sea of femininity, right? But without the feminine, that, that ship that's, that's going in one direction will drown. And notice how Michael Corleone, which is the second godfather, um, talks to his brother because he's firing him. Look, look at the coldness. Tom Hagen's no longer consolidating. The coldness. Gonna be a lawyer in Vegas, right? Just no straight, on like very masculine. He's gonna be a lawyer in Vegas, and he's not gonna work with us no more. 
There's there there there's just facts, no emotion. I'm down, but that's the way I want. It. He's like, what the Besides, fuck? Besides, I ever need help. Who's a better consigliere than my father? And that's it. So that's the way he fired um, his brother. And notice the way he says bye. He's the godfather, the new godfather. And this is the, the old godfather. And notice the way how the old godfather addresses everyone. Before he leaves, he does, he does a very beautiful fatherly thing. As opposed to Michael, who just says goodbye. But he has a parental energy. And the feminine is a parental type of energy. I'm happy for you, Carlo. Right? And notice the coldness with him. Mike, uh, why am I out? You're not a wartime consigliere, Tom. Things may get rough with the move we're trying. Damn. Okay, so that was the way he did it, right? Why am I out? You're not a wartime consigliere, Tom. And notice the voice. There's just coldness. Like, we're precious. Tom. Things may get rough with the move. No soothing mechanism, no feeling better, no soothing of ego. We're trying. But then, the godfather, look what he does. Damn. He applies the same strategies. He talks without talking. Tom, which is very masculine. He gets close to her, to him. He touches him. Very. I advise, Michael. I never thought you were bad counsel Eddie. He's, he pretty much lets him, like, he reads into his mind, feels what he's feeling, and let, lets him know that he understands that it might look like you're a bad conciliary. But it's not what he says. It's just a mannerism, right? It, there, there, there's just more nurture behind that. And to me, Godfather is the perfect example. He's a man, you know what I'm saying? So, But he's a perfect, you guys can imitate this. <laughs> he's a perfect example of a man who has complete masculinity and complete femininity. A man who, who's a mobster and a complete family man. I thought Santino was a bad don. Rest in peace. Michael has all my confidence, as, as you do. But uh, there are reasons why he must have no part in what is going to happen. Right, and that was a much better way of explaining it than Michael. But Michael never learned that because Michael was just a cold motherfucker, right? He was, most likely he was traumatized because of war, right? So this is the part that I'm talking about. And the issue is, is that too many women are too much in the nurturing side, right? What you just saw there was the godfather's feminine side, the nurturing side. And you'll see in other videos where he is masculine but the difference is is that even when he is assuring people there's a certain levelness to him he still is masculine even when he's being feminine nurturing that's what i want you guys to understand is that you could create this same effect where you're able to be nurturing and loving while having a foundation of strength and power all right ladies and gentlemen if you guys ever want to learn how to use your feminine energy to influence people, learn how to use your masculine energy to become more assertive, and also learn how to blend both energies to improve your dating life, your spiritual life, honestly, um, your relationship life, your family life, your career life, this is the course for you. If I had to make a course for my nieces, I have two nieces, one is 8, 19, and one is 14, 15, 16, holy shit. Oh my God, he's a bad fucking uncle. He's a, he's a bad uncle. Get him. Shut up, Melissa. You should, you should get this course, right? And this is the course that I will make for them. So for example, watch the curriculum, right? In the first week, we're going to be showing you how to establish a strong masculine foundation without letting it hurt your feminine energy. This masculine foundation is a source of who you are, right? It's it's your bodyguard. Without this, your whatever feminine energy you create, will be destroyed by the outside because your your fem your masculine is your shield so we'll talk about goal setting we'll talk about how to develop a serious attitude we're going to be talking about how to um how to use more logic how to use more goal oriented behavior it's more how to be a man <laughs> you know it, you know now the next one is how to embrace the feminine energy right this one would this one would teach you about how to minimize excessive masculine traits developing self-awareness healing abundant feminine energy, regulating your emotion, vo uh, mastering voice qualities and, ex and facial expressions, surrendering control and allowing pain to be felt. This is honestly, it's, it's, it, it, this will supercharge, like, like, like Kyle Ken, your masculine energy. 
After that, we have um, femininity in the workplace and how to be feminine in the workplace without letting people take advantage of you and the nuances of um, how women on power should behave versus women who are subordinates in the workplace and even the dress code. They, they, these are, this is based on psychology, people. It's kind of insane. I'm actually excited about this one. The next week, we talk about navigating the labyrinth of male and female friendship. And this, a lot of women find confusing, so we talk about that. And how to identify envious friends, how to identify the good friends, how to keep male friends, and how to keep female friends. Week five, we talk about how to release the burden of the past and stop and destroy mental projections. This is actually really powerful. Um, and this, and then week six, we talk about how to increase your observational power so that you so that you can read people better. Um, and we have a bunch of bonuses. It, the course starts at um, nine at ninety nine dollars, um, and you guys can pre order the course today at sixty nine dollars before it goes out. Um, if you're watching this, most likely I'm in the meditation retreat, so I really most likely I will be praying for all of you guys. And um, just click on the description down below of the video, right there. You'll see it, and you could pre order that course. It's gonna be out by by the end of next month or the beginning of February of, of March. One of the two people, because I have a 10-day retreat to do. And I want to I want to finish the course um, after the retreat, because I think the, the ideas are going to be so much better. All right, man, I'll see you guys later. Free order, man. Oh, I'm closing the channel.